Hello and welcome back friends welcome to another video lecture from Shomu's biology and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about some tough number series questions and uh, very very complex number series questions and there will be three separate lectures in individual lectures we'll be talking about three different very unique number series problems and we all know that number series problems require uh, a lot of practice and there is no rule to explain them but the more you practice the better you get to answer them so let's begin with the first lecture with the very first question of this number series and in this case actually it's an alphabet series rather than a number series and this is a fill in the blank that means the progression and you need to find out the following like the 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 one which is provided with the question mark you need to find that one so what will be this upcoming number or in this case the alphabet s t i l n t f u now in this problem you you cannot think the conventional way because you know in alphabet series problems we generally think of uh, the alphabet's number and then we calculate it, the difference between individual alphabet that's how we calculate but in this case you need to really think out of the box and what kind of thinking that is let me first give you 10 seconds to solve it then i'll solve it okay i hope the time is over now let me tell you this this idea that if you read this sentence can you find the next letter in the series then you can think about uh, the starting from this series starts with s this is where s is present t from d this is the t then i for in then l for letter then n for next then t for d then f for find then y for u and then c for can so this upcoming alphabet will be C so you can see that this problem does not require any kind of conventional thinking you need to think really out of the box to answer it so let's move to the next one this is what you have for equation now <clears throat> this is the equation that you need to solve we have five separate regions where you need to put values and the value list is given 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 and 15 now this is a really tough number series problem a really really difficult number series problem because in this case you know uh, whenever this kind of question is given one thing you should know for sure is that no matter which numbers you put it's not going to end up in giving 30 that's not going to be that easy so what you need to do is construct uh, values inside these brackets uh, by using more than one numbers usually two numbers together now what kind of combination of numbers you will use uh, it depends on uh, addition values so this is a really complex type of number series problem now the way to solve it if I tell you here if you think about it so all these numbers are given so 15 minus something or 11 minus something or 5 plus 7 so adding or subtracting them from one another and that's how you need to construct this whole table this whole uh, equation and if I tell you this is one way to create this equation quite easily and that will be like 15 minus 9 plus 13 minus 7 plus 7 minus 1 plus 13 minus 9 that's how we can get 6 plus because 15 minus 9 is uh, 6 13 minus 7 is 6 7 minus 1 is also 6 and uh, 13 minus 9 uh, and also plus 9 minus 1 so you can go with 13 minus 9 uh, is 4 9 minus 1 is 8 so that will give us 30 so this is what you should put in this uh, under these brackets now the question is how can we know all these difficult combinations now easy thing is that when you see 30 you need to think about constructing the 30 backwards how you can construct a 30 you can construct it by putting three sixes because you know you can see clearly that we can form six by subtracting numbers in this picture or adding numbers in this picture you can add five plus one because the question said you can repeat the numbers if required so that is good so you can uh, create 6 quite easily 5 plus 1 or 9 minus 3 or 13 minus uh, so 13 minus uh, 7 so there are many ways to create the 6 so you can add 3 sixes so it will give us like 6 plus 6 plus 6 18 plus it goes with 4 plus 8 or what you can go with here is simply uh, 
five sixes together but we cannot construct five sixes consecutively so you know you may ask me like why not this uh, in that case what we can do is that uh, the combinations that we can create 15 minus 9 13 minus 7 7 minus 1 we can also go with 5 plus 1 uh, we can go with uh, 9 minus 3 so that's what we can go as well so you can if we do this if you do this that's another way to solve it okay so there are many answers possible but this is another way so you add all the sixes and five plus six addition will give you 30 so you can go with like 15 minus 9 6 13 minus 7 6 7 minus 1 6 5 plus 1 6 9 minus 3 6 and that will be 30 as well so this is a way to solve this kind of problem you know the the first one that i uh, have done is a little complicated but this one with five sixes adding together uh, is easy so whenever you see this kind of problems you must look at the number series first and you need to check what number you can form because uh, it said that you can repeat the numbers in your calculations if you want to use that's a uh, really really important because if you cannot repeat the numbers then this problem might be limited but as you can repeat the number we can solve it really really fast by adding six sixes to five sixes to get 30 okay so let's move to the third one if 1 2 3 plus 0 equals 16 2 3 4 plus 0 equals 24 3 4 5 plus 0 equals 32 then what will be 4 5 6 plus 0 you know this is another kind of problem you can get this kind of problem now as you can see that this plus 0 uh, stands for nothing because it does not require any value because it's conserved in all of it so you simply think about 1 2 3 equals 16 2 3 4 equals 24 3 4 5 equals 32 so there should be some kind of relationship between this alphabet this 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 value 1 2 3 with 16 and there are many ways it's possible addition deletion multiplication multiple ways this is possible now the correct way in this case if you, if you think about that this is 20 2 4 in in the middle you know we can go it like 2 into 10 20 3 into 10 30 4 into 10 40 so you can think about this 20 uh, 2 into 10 20 minus add the first and third uh, number that is 1 plus 3 that gives us 16 isn't it so we can clearly explain uh, this idea this ratio from here okay because the moment you saw 16 given in the answer and the single uh, letters like in single numbers are 1 2 and 3 you definitely know there is some multiplication going on so that's why we kept 20 minus 1 plus 6 similarly you can get that uh, this 16 is out of 20 something 24 is means out of 30 32 means out of 40 so we, we can clearly see that 2 into 10 20 3 into 10 30 4 into 10 40 so we go with the second one again 3 into 10 30 minus again addition of the first one uh, and the th third one 2 plus 4 so that will be 30 minus 6 24 and again the last one 40 4 into 10 40 minus there will be 3 plus a 5 3 plus 5 is 8 40 minus 8 will be 32 so we cracked the code correctly so with this rule 4 5 6 can be represented you know 5 in the middle so 5 into 10 50 minus first one 4 third one 6 so 50 minus 4 plus 6 10 so 50 minus 10 gives us 40 so the answer here will be 40 uh, in this occasion so you can see that all these three problems that we discussed are really complex number series problem, really, really tough and difficult number series problem. But again, all this difficult number series problem requires the proper understanding of the number series and uh, to crack the code, to crack the pattern of the number series. And sometimes to crack the pattern, you re really need to think out of the box to solve this tough and difficult number series problems. So that's all regarding the tough number series problem solution. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that. Uh, and this kind of videos, these this pictures and all these questions are taken from gpuzzles.com. You can watch uh, all this from gpuzzles.com. There is a huge list of all these kind of puzzles and problems. The link is provided in the description as well. Thank you.